Now, I do have some colleagues on the Hill who have, um, just like me, offered Kyle Rittenhouse an internship in their office. And, uh, you know, Madison Cawthorn, he said that he would arm wrestle me uh, for this uh, Kyle Rittenhouse internship. But Madison Cawthorn has some pretty big guns. And so I would like to challenge him to a sprint instead. Let's make this fair. Oh, my God. So Madison Cawthorn, yeah. she, he, she, he, he's partially paralyzed and ha is in a wheelchair. So hey. challenging him to a sprint because you're concerned about his big guns and don't want to do an arm wrestling match. Just think about what you're going to say before you say it. <laughs> like just, yeah, maybe she did. I, they're very weird people. They are a bizarre... They are bizarre people who are fairly empty, save for a weird knee-jerk need to troll people, which is why I, I, you know, approach this sort of story with a great deal of, like, trepidation. Like, God only knows what their motivations is when they say what they say. I mean, immediately I can say it's super cringy to be the first person to offer the guy who you only know because he killed people in an internship. But when you're, like, the fifth person to do it, that's just sad. That's just try hard at this point. <laughs> I'm Lauren Bobert, a mom, a small business owner, a defender of freedom. Here's what I know. You protect what you love. President Trump built a big, beautiful wall because he loves America. And he wanted to secure our country and protect us from drugs, illegal aliens pouring into our communities, and sex traffickers. Democrats, they fought him every step of the way. And now, welcome to Fort Pelosi, where Democrats decry walls from within their own heavily guarded razor wire wall. Democrats don't want to protect you because they don't care about you, but they'll spare no expense protecting themselves. We will not build a wall. No, there will not be another foot of wall constructed on my administration. I'm not for a wall. One. I'm not for a wall. It's time to cut the crap and remember, this is the people's house. Madam Speaker, tear down this wall. I, that was terrible. Like, was it better or worse than the Crenshaw thing? I don't know. But man, they all want to be so cool, so bad. And I don't know how to be cool, clearly. But I have learned that being incredibly try hard is not a good starting off point. This is just screaming, think that I'm cool. Like, they just, they want to be like a member of the squad. The thing is, do the, do the members of the squad have cool ads? Yes, they do. But they also work and they know things. These are important characteristics as well. The gun thing is ridiculous. Uh, JR said this morning on the damage report that she ends all of her videos with the gun thing, which I don't think that that's better. I think that's just a different terrible thing than it only being in one. Maybe it's worse actually, since it's in all of them. But also, like, if. <laughs> Everything is so bad faith in this country. She is trying to present to her followers that the Democrats were against Trump's attempt to build a wall along our entire southern border because they're generally against walls. Like I like when I don't yeah. want walls in this room basically. I just want to have open holes with ceilings floating above them. No, that's not true at all. Colorado does have some of the most strictest gun laws. We have just about everything that Democrats are wanting to push nationally. And unfortunately, our state is showing that these do not work. Uh, Chicago is showing that gun laws do not work. And uh, and every time something like this happens, there's more knee-jerk reactions to legislate law-abiding citizens and restrict them from being able to defend themselves. In America, we, we see more deaths by hands, fists, feet, even hammers. And, uh, you know, are we going to start legislating that away? Are we going to be uh, like these other countries who even ban knives? I mean, if, if hammers are the cause of more death than firearms, then maybe we need to start having background checks on hammers. I mean, look out, Black & Decker. We're already coming after manufacturers for firearms. Maybe you're next. Um, it's important to note that hands, feet, uh, et cetera, made uh, about made up only 600 deaths, while all blunt objects combined, including hammers, only caused 397 deaths. So, so now um, we don't have to ban hammers. Uh, hammers are not a problem. 
Okay, so a couple of things here. If you take all of the hammers and feet, etc. And by the way, I, I have to confess, I did not know death by feet was an epidemic in America. Some um, people are kind of into that. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, that was inappropriate. <laughs> I apologize. I hear you on that. 